Welcome, Dr. Dynamite here. Today I will present 10 of the most amazing and extreme human Barbie dolls. Lin Ketong. We start our countdown with Lin Ketong, a very cute advertising model from China, very popular for her dull look resemblance. She was born in 1988 and she is a very popular actress and model in Asia. And I can understand why she's so popular because she looks very good and she's uh, looking completely natural without suspicion of plastic surgery which we're going to have plenty later in the video. She's 1.7 meter tall and goes by the little dragon girl name Tong Tong. Wang Jiayun Wang is a Chinese model from Hong Kong with a natural Barbie look. She has circulated her photos online which sparked a wave of attention and debate whether they are photoshopped or not. She is extremely popular in all Asia and worldwide by now but she got a lot of male attention in Korea because she was found similar with an inflatable doll. I would like to see what inflatable dolls they have out there. Apparently the number of Google searches went through the roof as a huge amount of men were looking for love online. She is 1.64 meters tall and weighs 42 kilos and she is obviously increasingly popular. Mary Matveva She is an Ukrainian model who loves the doll look and the first one from our series of Ukrainian slash Russian girls coming later in this video. She takes the time and effort to look like a human doll doing everything necessary to achieve that, especially contact lenses and a specific time consuming makeup. Combined with a unique body, she managed to get attention and impress a lot of people by her special appearance. Her Facebook page description sounds like Everyone wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I guess this is an attempt to project a deep meaningful personality. Of course, when you are looking hot and have deep philosophical theories, other than hair, makeup, nails and losing weight, all men will want you. Or maybe not. Venus Palermo or Venus Angelic she was born in 1997 in Switzerland and she is known as a living doll as she creates makeup tutorials on YouTube. Very popular in US and Japan, she teaches other girls how to achieve the anime look by applying makeup techniques. In 2006, she won the number one place in the Thai beauty contest in Switzerland and Lolita fashion contest for the Bodyline brand, for which she modeled later in 2013. She moved to the Netherlands after living in UK with her mother to pursue education as she could not find her place. Her tutorial on YouTube how to look like a doll has achieved over 12 million views so far and growing. Celso Santebanes Celso is a Brazilian man born in 1994 and he spent over $50,000 to look like Barbie's boyfriend Ken after being told by family and friends that he looks like the popular male doll. He took the comments to the heart and started to transform into a plastic looking image with the purpose of making a career out of it, become a model, rich and famous and to release his own Celso doll series which he did. So let me get this straight, he's a man who looks like a doll trying to release dolls that look like him. Isn't that like a vicious circle? Wouldn't it be easier to release another Ken doll and call them Celso? But Ken will probably be upset so that's not gonna happen. Anyway, he's gathering a lot of fans and followers on the internet to get where he wants to be, the world famous Celso doll. He's looking for the best Barbie girl in the world to join forces together for the ultimate fame and notoriety and perhaps to have some small plastic toy children. He's trying to get in contact with our number one Barbie girl who will be presented in a few moments. Justin Jetlika Another plastic male figure, this American Slovak born in 1985, has gained a lot of public attention by getting over 100 plastic surgeries in order to become the Kendall, Barbie's boyfriend, just like Celso, the previous contender. He spent over $170,000 on surgeries. He was supposed to be matched as well with Valeria Lukianova, the number one human Barbie doll, but apparently they are some sort of arch enemies and anyway he's a married gay man with no interest in women, especially the ones who do not look natural according to him, like Valeria. This is ironic isn't it? He was compared with Ken, but his intention was not that but a Japanese manga anime combined with inspiration from Michael Jackson and Joan Rivers, however he does not mind being the Ken doll after all. Lolita Ricci 
Another Ukrainian Barbie doll, born in 1998, looking ridiculously close to the plastic toy. She claims she never had surgery and that is just her gorgeous natural appearance. She says, I have a gorgeous figure so I don't have to diet. I just eat whatever is available in the fridge whether that it is sausage or fruit. We both know that's not true as sausages make you fat by default. She claims the only thing she does is wear wigs and contact lenses. She says in 2014, I started dressing up like this because I want to look perfect. I think all women should be well kept and immaculate. My big breasts are natural although I sometimes wear a push-up bra to enhance them. I am the ultimate vamp woman and I have never heard about Valeria Lukianova, which is by the way our number one coming later in the video. Sorry, spoiler alert. Angelica Kenova. Yet another Russian human Barbie doll from Moscow with a look a bit more natural than the other's extreme Barbie girls. She was born in 1988, she is 5 feet and 4 inch tall and which is about 1.6 meters and 42 kilos in weight and other body measurements envied by 99% of the female population of the world. She is famous for her look and feature and she is a model, obviously. Of course, what did you expect her to be, a computer programmer or a garbage truck driver? Let's face it, all Barbie dolls are models because we like to stare at them like idiots. There are no official reports for Angelica in terms of plastic surgery but I suspect at least breast implants have happened but this is just my thought. What do you think about it? Are they real or not? Anastasia Spagina, Spagina or Spagina, I don't know how to pronounce it. She was born in 1993 in Ukraine and by the way, what is this with crazy Ukrainian slash Russian girls? How come they all have a fixation with dolls? Anyway, Anastasia has brightly colored hair, pale skin, doll eyes and she spends hours in the mirror on her elaborate makeups. She can be mistaken for an actual cartoon just walking out of the toy box or your TV set. The anime girl is 5.0 feet or 1.6 meter tall and 85 pounds or 40 kilos and she spends 30 minutes for each eye doing the makeup and she is seriously considering plastic surgery to achieve the desired look if not already done by now. She is good friends with other anime girls from Ukraine present as well in our countdown and I will let you discover who that is and let you answer down below in the comment section. Half a million subscribers on YouTube and 7 million views on her makeup flower tutorial, by far her most popular video. Too bad it is in Russian otherwise it would have had more views I guess. Valeria Lukianova The most impressive Barbie doll look, so close to the original and almost non-human, is Valeria Lukianova from Ukraine, born in August 1985, a model and an entertainer. Other than breast implants, contact lenses and extreme makeup, she claims she has not done any type of other surgery. A strict diet combined with a gym program is the way she keeps her incredible human fake but realistically Barbie doll look. In 2014 she declared she wants to stop eating and drinking completely as she wants to live on light and air only. Very smart if you ask me. If you can feed like plants, you solve the huge problem, money. She has been compared and matched with the human Ken doll, Justin Jetlika, who does not like her at all, apparently for her fake unnatural look. In 2007 she won the middle diamond crown of the world beauty contest, but she gained worldwide exposure after posting photos and videos on the internet. She has been suspected to undertake surgery to remove one set of ribs to have her waist decreased and I'm wondering who came up with such a stupid idea. Also she was suspected using photoshop to mislead the viewers. She responded that her enemies, and she does have few people hating her for her look, they have done that to discredit her authenticity. I have to admit, despite the controversy, she is indeed easy on the eyes and interesting to look at, just a bit more than the other 9 contestants in the countdown. Do you believe she is the deserved number 1 for today? Before I go, I have another question. Do you really believe it is possible to remove a set of ribs to make your waist smaller? I am interested in your opinion. Thanks for watching, Dr. Dynamite reporting, over.